Hello everyone, my name is Ronnie. I am the owner and creator of RMD Design Studio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this gorgeous tropical peekaboo tumbler. I love doing peekaboo tumblers and anything tropical for that matter. If you'd like to see how I created this tumbler, please follow along and I will show you the steps. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Here are the supplies that I'm using in today's tumbler tutorial. First is this 24 ounce plump tumbler that I've already prepped and spray painted white. I am using two glitter colors from Glitter Heart Co. First is a coral reef and the other is the mermaid scales. Now today I'm going to be applying my glitter with the Mod Podge and you will also use a brush to apply your Mod Podge. Now I have chosen this vinyl and it's a 12 by 12 which I will cut to size to fit on my tumbler. Now I have measured my vinyl. I just want a small strip on the bottom part of the cup. So I've measured it and now I'm just going to cut it to size that I need. So here I just took a, a part of the backing off just so I can make sure that it was going to lay straight and nothing was going to be crooked. And then I'm just going to start doing just small, small pieces at a time, making sure that there's no, no bubbles, there's no creases. And if you do see a, a bubble or a crease or anything, you can just lift up the vinyl and, um, and then lay it down again. But I find this works best for me and I don't really ever have any problems doing it like this. And then I have it overlapping at the end just a bit and then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to just cut a bit down the seam right where the edges will meet. Just make sure that when you do cut the seam that you don't cut too much and you you have a little gap there. So it's okay if it's overlapping just a bit and then you won't have um, the gap visible. So you you might have some bubbles, little air pockets and, and uh, whatnot in there. If you do, they're very easy to get out. Um, sometimes I do have a couple of them. You can either take your little picky tool here and just um, some it, it's easy just to poke a little hole and then just kind of rub it a bit or depending on the size sometimes you can just cut a little slice on it and then um, kind of rub it together. Okay, so the next step, you want to get some glitter on that top portion of your cup. So it's best just to take your, your masking tape, doesn't matter what size, I just grabbed whatever I had available in front of me, and just tape off uh, the top part of your vinyl, just like I am doing here. And it's okay if it's not perfect, because we're going to be putting some tape along the seam there so if there is a little bit of overlapping you won't be able to notice it so that's okay. In this video I'm going to be using Mod Podge to add my glitter. So just, you, you'll need your Mod Podge and a brush, of course, and just apply the Mod Podge and spread it around evenly. Just make sure you don't have any um, like clumps of it. Make sure it's all even and spread out nicely. I actually don't really like using this brush to add my Mod Podge. I usually use my paint brushes, but this was handy, so I used it. 
whatever it works. As you can see, I, I get some clumps in there, but I've got those out. <laughs> you definitely don't want to have those in there. No. So I'll just speed up this part of the video for you because, well, I don't think you really want to sit here and watch me adding all this Mod Podge to it. So, so we'll just speed it up a bit for you. So now I'm going to add my two, two colors of glitter. I actually chose a third color of glitter, which you'll see later in the video, but that was just kind of the last moment. But so I'm going to be adding this coral. I think it's a coral brief. Both of these are from Glitter Heart Co. I do really love the glitters there. Um, actually, there's a, quite a few places that I buy glitter from. So I'm just going to put the glitter around just different spots all around the cup. And this next color is the Mermaid Scales, um, another gorgeous color. And again, it's from the Glitter Heart Co. And um, yeah, so as you can see, I'm just filling in the rest of the, the white spots that I haven't covered up yet. So just kind of just spread it around wherever you feel that it should go. And I am using Design Space to print out all my decals for my cup. I've already sized them to the size that uh, I wanted on the cup. I didn't use all of these because um, some of them didn't. I didn't really like on the cup. But like this one right here, I actually didn't put on the cup. But all the others, I did use. So you just kind of have to adjust the size to the size that you want on your cup and uh, print. So you can do this um, whether in Silhouette Studio or this design space, whichever you have. Now I printed these out using stencil vinyl. But um, if you don't have stencil vinyl, you can certainly use regular vinyl. I've used um, just a, the black, white, whatever extra vinyl I have, I find anything works. So just use whatever you, whatever you have. That's totally fine. Now I placed these uh, decals just kind of randomly all over the cup wherever wherever they fit wherever you think they look best just um you can put as much as you want uh, you can put as little as you want i of course wanted quite a few so i tried to fit as all i've tried to fit all of the decals the stencils that i did print uh, but not all of them fit so you just kind of it's like a puzzle you just kind of fit it wherever it goes And again, I don't think you want to sit here and watch me put all these stencils on. You kind of understand what I'm doing. So I will just kind of speed this part of the video up for you and uh, we'll continue. Okay, we will be spray painting the top part of our cup next. So you want to make sure you tape off that vinyl that you have applied at the bottom because you don't want to get spray paint on there. So I've just taped using, again, whichever tape I had uh, closest to me. If you have the wider stuff, use, you'll use less tape. If you use this stuff, you'll just have to put more tape on here. So just make sure that you cover the whole bottom of this cup because that spray paint will get everywhere. Oh boy, if only I worked this fast in real life. I would get things done a whole lot quicker. But, I can't. So. Okay, 
Okay, so I've spray painted my cup black and I've let it dry, just dry to the touch. You want to make sure that you don't leave it too long um, because then you'll have a hard time getting off your stencils and it um, it can crack some of the some of the paint as well. So just dry to the touch is what I find works best. So I'm just taking off the the tape at the bottom. I will get that off first. Okay, so now I have that masking tape off. Now I'm going to start taking off my stencils. So um, you're going to want your this little picky tool that I'm using or some other kind of tool that you might have that has a little point at it on, at, on the end of it. But um, just be careful that um, you don't want to scratch any of that black paint because uh, that's that won't be good. So you don't want any scratches on it so just take your time taking off these stencils and um, just yeah just make sure you don't scratch that that paint that you just did. And again I will speed up this video so you don't have to sit here and watch me take off all these stencils because it'll take me a while. So you don't want to sit here and watch me take off the stencils so we'll just fast forward this a bit and get on to the next step. Okay, so I have all the stencils off, all the tape off, and everything looks good. Now we're going to add a coat of epoxy. And I'm going to add, I decided to add another glitter to the whole cup here. It's This glitter, it's, uh, it's opalite from Glitter Heart Co. Again, um, I find it kind of goes with everything and adds just a, a nice little um, touch of sparkle to, to anything, really. So I like to put on my final coat of a lot of stuff. So I decided to put it on this cup. Okay, so sorry about this part of the video. I... Obviously, part of it got cut off. I don't know what happened. Anyways, so I decided, hmm, why not add more glitter? So I'm just going to put on just a few flakes of this Summer Crush Glitter Heart to Company again. Um, just just, uh, just uh, randomly on the cup. Just a few sprinkles here and there. Not too much. You don't want it to cover everything. And then this other one that I am putting on is the Mermaid Treasures Glitter Heart again. So again, I'm just, with my fingers, just kind of taking a few flakes. And these are large, these are large flakes. So I'm just taking a few flakes and just kind of placing them on where I find that it's needed. Okay, so the next step, we are going to be adding the outlines to our um, all our flowers on here. So I've used, I can't remember what kind of vinyl I used. I used some kind of holographic uh, pink vinyl. I can list it in the video in the description. But I printed uh, all the outlines on this and I'm going to place them where they are supposed to go on the cup. And I must say, it is uh, it is fun trying to match up all the the sizes to the proper size on the cup. So just watch out for that, unless your sizes are drastically different. But mine were kind of similar, so it was hard to to match them up. But I did it. Okay, I am going to just finish it off. Uh, between these two edges I'm gonna put some some tape on here just to to break it up a bit so you don't have this harsh line okay 
Now I'm going to be doing the final coat of epoxy. I have 20 ml in here and I'm going to be using the whole thing just to cover everything up, all those the extra glitter, all the vinyl, and then we'll see the finished product. I like to go from the bottom all the way to the top when I'm trying to even it out. Um, I find that works best for me. Always make sure that your turner is, your, your cup that's on the turner is always level. You always want it level because you don't want any um, funky bottoms or anything like that. So just make sure it's level and uh, don't put too much pressure on the cup. I just use a light finger and I spread it out evenly. I will let this fully dry on my turner and then it will be completed. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and if you did like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.